assault, rape, murder, drunk driving, blackmail, Footballers have committed some of the biggest crimes possible and have spent time behind bars. Footballers live in a fast life and people believe that they are above the law because they seem to get away with a lot of things. But sometimes they can't escape the consequences of their action for breaking the law. Even the most talented players have found themselves on the list and will be digging through their not so good experiences on the wrong side of the law. Like other sports stars, people look up to footballers as their role models. The media coverage and scrutiny only make it worse, with many forgetting that players are just ordinary human beings also capable of making bad decisions. On the pitch, it doesn't get worse than yellow cards, red cards, and suspensions, but off pitch, the stakes are higher. Spoiler alert, you may find your favorite player on this list. Number 1. Ronaldinho One of the most adored footballers of all time got himself into jail after being found guilty of forging documents and using a fake passport after traveling to Paraguay. The former Barcelona number 10 faced five years in prison but ended up spending five months behind bars in 2020 alongside his brother, Roberto Diasis, following a plea deal which saw them pay a combined fee of $200,000. The pair spent their time in Asuncion prison, and Ronaldo even ended up celebrating his 40th birthday within the prison walls. Being behind bars didn't stop the Brazilian from having a good time playing and organizing football competitions. The jail time was followed by house arrest with continued investigations. Next, we have another player equally adored and loved by fans. Number 2. George Best Another high-profile name on the list. George Best was arrested with a three-month sentence for drunk driving, assaulting officers, and then failing to answer bail. As a result, the former Northern Ireland midfielder ended up spending the 1984 Christmas in jail at Ford Open Prison shortly after his retirement. Best was also said to have stolen money from a woman he didn't know just to fund a drinking session a few years earlier in 1981. The Manchester United star had a playboy reputation due to his lavish lifestyle and was known to be a chronic alcoholic and continued to face problems and controversies before losing the battle in 2005. But let's see another player who managed to win his battle against alcohol. 3. Tony Adams Another Premier League all-time great, Tony Adams crashed his car more than four times the legal limit in Raleigh, Essex, and was sentenced to four months imprisonment in 1990 thanks to alcoholism. This led to doubts about the former Arsenal centre-back's career. Adams spent 57 days at Kelmsford Prison. The sentence seemed to have a positive impact on the former Gunners captain's career as he went on to captain England at major tournaments while also winning two Premier League and Cup doubles under Arsene Wagner's arsenal. Number 4. Patrick Kluivert We all know that Patrick Kluivert, one of the best players in Dutch history. The former Ajax Milan and Barcelona star was involved in an automobile accident at the age of 19 as a result of some reckless driving. Although Kluivert killed a famous Ajax fan during the crash in 1995, he escaped jail time and only did 240 hours of community service. The next player on our list committed a crime at Kluivert's age, but hasn't been nearly as lucky as the Dutchman. Number 5. Mason Greenwood Greenwood is one of the latest footballers to be incarcerated. In January this year, he was arrested on the suspicion of raping, assaulting women, and murder threats, which led to his suspension at Manchester United. The winger was also removed from FIFA 22 before being dropped by Nike. Since then, Greenwood has seen his bail extended twice, with the latest coming on June 23rd. While investigations remain ongoing, Greenwood has kept a low profile while waiting to be formally charged, brought to trial, or released. The 20-year-old might be seeing a significant chunk of his career taken away by this incident and would be lucky to have the rest of his career back. But Greenwood is not the only player in Manchester to be accused of rape in recent times. Let's check out another player from the other half of Manchester. 6. Benjamin Mendy Across town, Benjamin Mendy was accused of eight counts of rape and one count of sexual assault and attempted rape while at Manchester City. Although he continued to play for the club when the allegations were made, he was suspended when formal charges came in at the beginning of last season. The multiple Premier League winner was sentenced to spend time behind bars at HMP Altcourse in Liverpool. 
Later on, he was moved to a top security prison, HMP Manchester, amid fears over his safety. He got out on bail on strict conditions and has been standing trial since then. Just last month, the Frenchman pleaded not guilty to the charges brought on him. Number 7. Rena Higita Remember the famous scorpion kick? The Colombian keeper Higita brought a different dimension to the game while between the sticks. Unfortunately, he was linked to a kidnapping incident after it was discovered that he facilitated shady business transactions, which were said to involve the famous drug lord Pablo Escobar. Higuita was imprisoned in 1993, ended up serving time in jail, and even missed the 1994 World Cup as he had to spend seven months inside a notorious jail in Bogota. 8. Adam Johnson Adam Johnson played for Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Man City, and even had 12 caps for England. However, his career came to a premature end in 2016 when he was sent to jail for kissing a 15-year-old minor while his wife was pregnant in 2015. He was convicted of multiple counts of child sex offenses, sentenced to six years in jail, and had his contract as a footballer terminated. Johnson was released in 2019 after serving half of his sentence at HM Prison Leeds and HM Prison Moreland and has maintained a relatively low profile since then. Number 9. Joey Barton Those who have watched Joey Barton play may not be too surprised to see him get himself into trouble off the pitch. Barton was convicted twice for violent charges. First, he drove his car into a pedestrian at 2 a.m. in the Liverpool city center and was convicted of a common assault for which he served 77 days in prison in 2008. During that time, he also received a four-month suspended sentence for assaulting his teammate Usman Dobo. Charged for violent conduct three times by the FA in his playing career, the Bristol manager is now currently facing charges for beating a woman in London and for also kicking his wife in the head. Looks like it runs in the blood, seeing that his half-brother Michael was given a life term in prison due to his involvement in the racial murder of Anthony Walker back in 2005. 10. Ian Wright Despite being one of the most honest footballers, the Arsenal legend Ian Wright spent time in prison and even admitted that it changed him forever. When he was 19, the former Crystal Palace Arsenal striker declined to pay fines for driving and was convicted for two weeks at Kelmsford Prison in 1982. Wright owned two cars and decided not to pay his insurance or taxes for the vehicles. He looked to get away with it for a while before being hounded by the government. After serving his short sentence, Wright said in 2016, I did say I would never ever come to a place like that again. Notable mentions. These players are by no means the only one to spend time in jail. It would be a great deal of injustice to not include some notable mentions in this list as well. Duncan Ferguson who says one cannot be convicted for incidents on the pitch. Ferguson, one of the best strikers in Scotland's history, had four convictions for assault, which included one for a headbutt on Wraith Rover's defender, John McStay, in 1994. The former Everton man was sentenced to three months in Barlini Prison for the latter incident, but was released after 44 days. Unsurprisingly, Ferguson got sent off a lot during his playing career. Bruno Fernandes de Souza, not the Portuguese Manchester United midfielder. That one was a South American goalkeeper who committed one of the most severe crimes any footballer could possibly do. The former Flamingo captain was sentenced to 22 years in prison after having his girlfriend kidnapped and murdered. Her body was then said to be cut up. Other players to have had encounters with the police during their careers include Michael Platini, Robino, Gliffy Sigurdsson, Harry Maguire, Eric Cantona, Marcos Alonso, and a host of others. Soccer folklore is filled with different personalities in the game. We have looked at some of the most popular soccer players who went to jail due to personal struggles, addiction, and sheer stubbornness. Having seen the consequences they suffered, it goes without saying that no one is above the law.